Deltarune is not following the same format as its predecessor, Undertale. Not only has it not launched as an entire video game, but the chapters it's composed of so far have been released years apart. It's safe to say that the format of how a game can be released has a big impact on how we not only talk about them online, and believe me, Deltarune fans do like to talk, but how we experience the narrative of said game. When The Boys initially premiered on Amazon Prime, a lot of people were frustrated that not all the episodes were released at once. Instead of all eight episodes being being available at the start, only the first three were, with the rest being rolled out over the coming weeks. And while there is naturally a distinction between doling out television shows and video game segments, over intervals of time it still got me thinking, what are the advantages and disadvantages of releasing anything in parts? It's a nice way to keep the momentum going for sure. With Chapter 2's launch last month, you can be rest assured that people are conversing about it a lot more now than if the entire game just released it once a handful of years ago. Your interest in the memes and character ships themselves be damned. Deltarune has done a fine enough job so far, and I do trust Toby Fox with handling the game this way, but it's definitely the exception and not the rule when it comes to concern over a pro-consumer industry. It's sad how hard it is to find a full product these days. You need only look at Sonic 4, among other things, to see how this can go south quick. But on the flip side, the prospect of releasing an early access game to get feedback is invaluable, even if it is technically incomplete. Supergiant, the reputable indie developer behind Bastion and Transistor, were initially not too excited about releasing Hades in early access. Putting something out there that's by definition incomplete can be nerve-wracking for sure, yet the game itself was already so far along so tight in its refinement and polish that next to no one seemed to mind and the advice taken from the community was able to help the game get to a much better 1.0 than if it had stayed completely internal through its entire development. And even with all of that being said, it's still hard not to miss how simple it was to make a purchasing decision before DLC, collector's editions, and episodic chapters were really a thing. Because even if we do get the occasional supergiant Chad, we will still be left with tons of the AAA Wojaks who sh** out content the instant it hits the bare minimum visual quality threshold. While Deltarune's intentions of releasing its story in parts is a lot more humble and honest than most AAA developers, the practice itself is obviously very exploitable, with some games not even launching with certain modes and in some cases even an ending. Isaac Repentance quite literally released with an unfinished item that does not have an effect for certain characters, and the fact that I wasn't even that surprised when I found out was telling enough on its own. Being free helps Deltarune's case, but there is something to be said for being drip-fed a game instead of being able to simply outright play the entire product immediately. Will it really feel like a fully-fledged Undertale sequel slash spin-off if the progression and story cliffhangers are so far apart that in retrospect it'll feel like we played a Telltale game? I personally think so, but Going forward, it's very important to keep an eye peeled for the developer's track record for quality. Being able to update and balance your game is a great boon to lasting quality, especially when you've had time to garner data from a bigger source of people, but like a leftover hamburger that's had new toppings added, you have to make sure the hamburger tasted good in the first place. Here's another video I did involving Deltarune. It's a common thing to say yes, I know, but my videos aren't able to break the algorithm like they used to a year ago, so I really do depend on your comments, likes, and subscriptions and views. So if you decide to do any or all of those things today, it'd be really appreciated. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful night. Buh bye bye